Welcome back to our channel. This is Tom and today I'm going to show you how to get free digital HD TV with this simple antenna. Another as seen on TV product. Today we are going to cut the cable cord and I'm going to show you how to get free digital HD TV. So stay tuned. Open this up, see what we got in here. Comes with some pretty simple instructions. Okay. Alright, that long piece you see right there, that's the actual antenna. That looks like that would probably go on the back of the TV. Let me get the scissors. All right, that's the actual T uh, antenna. Oh, and it swivels, so we'll pay particular attention to that when we get ready to install it. And we have the the coax cable, robo antenna cable, actually. A little stand for it. and a little suction cup if you want to mount it somewhere. And last but not least, some instructions. So we're going to dive into this and see how easy it is. All right, so we're getting ready to install the antenna. Um, I looked on the back of the TV and the way that the cable port was, the direction said to do a direct mount on the back of the TV, but my coax port went like this. So I ended up having to use the cable antenna adapter that you see in there. It's like a little bullet. Put that in there, connect this antenna cable. They gave us a stand. So I use the stand, put it in there like that. And then I'm going to take the other end and I'm going to put it in the antenna port on the back of the TV. So works right, we should get some channels. If no channels come up, you may have to do a channel search. Oh, and look, there you go. I don't have it fully connected yet, so bear with me. We'll right back here. Looks like these were designed for maybe newer TVs or well, older TVs. Because a lot of the cable ports now and antenna ports are all right. So we can see that some got, we're getting some channels in. So if looks like it's not coming in clear, you may have to move your antenna around a little bit to get a better reception. And also, if you notice on the antenna itself, the little ears can adjust. If you need to move it up, or so you just got to play with it and see what kind of a signal you get. So next thing I'm going to do is a channel search. Even though I did get some channels, I'm going to go ahead and do another channel search and see if we got more channels. So you go to your menu, channels, and this may be specific to whatever type of TV you have, but for the most part, it's the same. Find channels. Make sure your channel source is on antenna. And we're going to start the channel scan. Usually we get about what, 30 channels, 31 in our area. So depending on what area you live in, what kind of channels you get. You may want to adjust it, like put it on this side, or yeah. if you need to, if it doesn't pick up anything. If it picks up less than what we usually have.
Okay, so it found 29. Usually we get 30. Well, the picture is clear, but we're missing a channel. So when you finish your scanning, you know what, how many channels you're supposed to get in your short, one or two. What you can do is reposition your antenna to a different location as long as the cord will allow for you. Readjust your ears if you have to. And then just redo your scan. That's all you have to do is just redo your scan. But the picture is pretty clear for the most part. And when your TV does that, just adjust your ears a little bit. You may have to do a little bit of position and play with it. Make sure you got it fully connected in the back. And I'm gonna go ahead and redo another scan. Okay, so this is the same antenna that I'm hooking up, but I'm hooking it up on a different TV. So we're going to go through the channel scan and see what it picks up now. And there you have it. After channel setup and search, this is what it looks like. Nice clear picture. And there you have it. So it's compatible with any TV that has a coax port on the back. Well, there you have it, people. Free HD TV, digital. So if you want to cut your cord and get free HD TV, there you go, $14.99. Thanks for watching.